Hi, I'm Jeremy Martini, Academic Dean at Horizon College and Seminary. Welcome to the College. Let me tell you a little bit about what we've been up to and what we're hoping to do this year. Come on. We've done a lot over the past few years to upgrade this facility. We've done fresh paint, some new carpet, and in the last year we completely renovated our kitchen and dorms. Of all of the changes that we've made and all the improvements that we've done, this furniture isn't among it. We're looking now to refurbish some of the furniture for our common area and our students to make this place a little more professional looking and a little more comfortable for our students who study and live here. Okay, so let's see what's going on in the classroom right now. Right now, Dr. Beach is teaching Bible study methods. What's interesting about this class is that he's teaching it to a group of students right in front of him. He's teaching it to another group of students who are coming in through Skype. And we're filming it as well so that we can turn it into a distance ed course that people can take later on. So let's be quiet because he's still teaching. So you're translating Hebrew text, which is written in the Hebrew world, to a Greek text, which is read in the Greek world. Sometimes you translate you maybe just shift the meaning just a little bit to make it more palatable. Okay, this is classroom four. This is our, our newest classroom. Some of you will remember this as a computer lab from a few years ago, but with students all having their own uh, laptops and tablets, uh, we really don't need a computer lab any longer, so we've already transitioned out of that. And this is a, a state-of-the-art classroom where we're very excited about what we're doing here technologically and being able to deliver education in, in a new way. And I think there's nobody more excited about this, this room and utilizing it than, than Dr. Kadischuk, who's, who's going to be the first person to get to use this in an actual class. Dr. K, tell us a little bit about what's making you excited about this room. Well, first of all, it's still hard to believe that uh, you're our academic dean and, and my boss, you just look like one of our first year students still, so good to see the fresh excitement you have for a new generation. I have been here a long time and I can still say I'm excited about change. When we first uh, moved into this room, it was originally the chapel and the Lutherans owned this building. We went through stages of conversion, we had miles of wiring in here, we brought the pews from the chapel, the old chapel in here, created workbenches, brought in monstrous of computers and printers, and now we're at a point where we're in the process of having stripped all of that out, and we have these two 47-inch TV sets. Uh, we will have a wireless connection that uh, uh, teachers with iPads or with uh, computers can be either wired or wireless to project uh, to their students and classes here. Um, I know that other institutions with larger budgets have been doing this for a long time and uh, for us uh, we have been quite aware that we're not creating something greatly innovative here but with our limited finances to be able to do this uh, through gracious donors <coughs> is huge and so we are continuing uh, to, to develop uh, and one of the great benefits of this new classroom will be flexibility for the teacher. We will not be locked down to a chair at the front of the room. Uh, we can walk around and project from our mobile device onto the screens. We can talk to students. Uh, if the student is on Facebook or emailing, we can come and tap them on the shoulder and see exactly what they're doing. And it's just a great new age, and I'm still privileged to be able to uh, be part of it. It's great. Thank you. Here we are in Classroom 2. Some of you will remember Classroom 2 from when you took Greek with Ms. Brown or Missions with Dr. Birch. We've done a lot to improve the classrooms in this college over the years. We've added speakers, data projectors, whiteboards. But one thing we haven't yet improved upon is the very carpet where Ms. Brown and Dr. Birch stood. And as you can see, yuck, it's time for an upgrade. And for those of you willing to help us with that upgrade, we have a special limited time offer. We will send you a swatch of this very carpet for your contribution. Well, I hope you enjoyed your tour of the college and have a sense of not only where we've been, but where we'd like to go. And I know what you're thinking. How can I help? Well, we have three goals we'd like to achieve by the end of this year. First, we'd like to improve our IT, our information technology. 
You got to see some of what we were doing in Classroom 4, and we'd like to take that technology and bring it over to our other classrooms as well. But we'd also like to increase and improve our distance education to bring our classroom experience beyond our walls and into our constituencies in Saskatchewan and Manitoba and the world. Secondly, we'd like to improve our overall furnishings around the place to add to our professionalism and make this place more pleasant for our students who study and live here. Finally, we feel it's time to retire the carpet that Ms. Brown and Dr. Birch taught upon. And we'd like to improve those classrooms overall. So by the end of the year, we'd like to see those three goals met. To help us out, you can donate directly through our website at www.horizon.edu or telephone us toll free at 877-374-6655. We appreciate any and all help you can give and we're excited about what God is doing here in this ministry. Thank you for your support and God bless.